Christie from the Anderson Library, and today I'm going to read When the World is Full of Friends. When the world is ready to play, friends are near if you find a way. Everyone in the rabbit family loved to play. Albert loved to run and hop and jump. He was the fastest and strongest in all of the little rabbit's races and games. Tom liked stories and dressing up best. He was a pirate rabbit, a monster rabbit, and a marvelous magical prince rabbit. Flossie was a great inventor. She loved to make things and paint them bright colors, windmills and forts and twirly paper umbrellas. As for the baby Pipkin, he loved best of all to play on his blankie by the wide watery stream, catching his toes in the sunshine. So the little rabbits played together, and they were busy and good. One day, though, when they were all rather tired, Flossie said, I wish we had some friends to play with. Friends, said Albert. Friends, said Tom. Ooh, squeaked Pipkin and they knew that they wanted friends more than anything else in the world. The very next morning, something truly wonderful happened. A family of squirrels came to live on the other side of the stream, and there were two small squirrels, just the right size to be friends. The little rabbits and squirrels waved to one another. Now we'll have friends to play with, cried Flossie, but it wasn't as simple as that. How can we get across the wide watery stream, asked Albert. There isn't a bridge for miles. Oh no, said Tom. Ooh, squeaked Pipkin. It was so very disappointing. But Flossie knew there must be a way. She sat quietly and tried to figure it out. I'll think of something. I've got to. Then Flossie had an amazing idea. We'll tie balloons to a basket and fly across the stream, she explained. Oh dear. The balloons weren't big enough or airy enough to make the basket fly. We could hop, skip, and leap across, said Albert. I don't think so, said Mother Rabbit kindly. Even Albert couldn't leap that far. The little rabbits and squirrels felt so sad. But Flossie wouldn't give up. She invented and invented until at last she said, Albert, you're fast and strong. Run and find some nice big pieces of wood and rope. So Albert did, and when Father Rabbit saw what the little rabbits were trying to make, he smiled and came to help. Until their brave, beautiful boat was finished. We must dress up, said Tom. Soon the little rabbits looked like daring sailors and pirates ready for the voyage. There was only one more thing they needed. A sail, exclaimed Flossie. Blanky, squeaked Pipkin, and it made the perfect sail. Jump aboard, sailors, said Father Rabbit with a laugh. He steered them safely across the wide watery stream where they met the little squirrels at last. Hooray, they all shouted. Now we can be friends. Hoo-hoo, squeaked Pipkin, and Flossie was right. Playing with friends is wonderful. When the world is full of friends, the fun and laughter never ends. The end. I hope you guys like that story. Don't forget to come by the Anderson Library and you can pick up your craft this week and a surprise basket full of goodies. Thanks. Bye.